What's up guys, JT for the JT Comes Out channel real quick. I'm just pausing Stomping Grounds, which I'm watching on my PS4. I'm just make this center a little bit. I hope I got it centered. Close enough. But I thought I'd do a quick video on uh, <coughs> my PS1 games. Put my sandal on, get a little more comfortable here. If I put the right one on the right foot. But these, like I said in earlier videos, these are games I grew up, I, I really grew up. Late teens, early 20s, I played the most. And these are the games I enjoyed the most. I still do enjoy playing them. Uh, these are just in random order. So, uh, like I said, they're in random order. So, I got them. so the first one I'm going to talk about is the original driver. I enjoy playing this game. Um, just crashing everything, crashing the cop cars. I was partially a terrible driver on this game, but I really did enjoy it. Um, Another one I got a little bit later on, but I still enjoy driving it, which is the Dukes of Hazzard game, um, Race for Home. I enjoyed it just because, uh, just, I enjoyed watching the actual, uh, show when I was growing up. My brain went blank on me. And, uh, this is one of the games I've had, I've had the longest, is this one right here, which is Smackdown. And, uh, made my own characters on this game. I love this game. Uh, me and my friends would always play this game, and we always had our own characters. We made our own characters. Uh, I originally, when I started when I started playing this, I actually used the uh, move set of the moves move set of the Undertaker, and because uh, I always made my character seven foot tall, he had a kind of a hillbilly gym look, but he was a seven footer, and uh, it was just fun playing. It was one of those games you, you play with friends, stuff like that. One of the few games I've beaten over the years is the original Metal Gear Solid. I did enjoy this game very much. I still have my original copy that I bought. And uh, I'd rarely let anybody borrow it because I didn't want no scratches on these on these discs. So I had a hard time letting people borrow my games because I've had a few games borrowed and well they got all scratched up. And if you guys can really see that, there's not a scratch on it. I, took, I take good care of my games and stuff like that. So... Hang on a second. Brother to the assuming message. We've got some bad weather come through, so sorry about that, guys. So, last but not least, um, you've heard me talk about this game in the past, Grand Stream Saga. This is my absolute favorite game on the PS1. Uh, I've beaten it several times, so there's two endings to this game. You, you, you can end up saying the princess, or you can say the pirate chick. And it, I really think it's really cool because you got cutscenes from Japanese anime cutscenes. This is really good. If you've never heard of Grand Stream, the, the Grand Stream Saga, this to me is one of the hidden gems, I think, on the PS1. Because a lot of people have not heard about this game. Uh, I've talked to several people, even at GameStop, they've never heard of it. So, this is definitely one of the games you guys got to pick up. They are, it's a fun to play, and um, it took me about 12 to 14 hours to beat the first time. I actually had to go on CC.com, download the strategy guide to actually figure out what it was. I got about, I was over a third of the way through it, and I was lost. And uh, a few games like this, uh, along with Metal Gear, I actually did download the strategy guides for. Um, I think I did download the uh, cheat code for Driver, just the general purpose of it. And, uh, and there's one other game I'm going to talk about, which is Gran Turismo. I don't have it here with me right now. Uh, that was one of my all-time favorite racing games. Uh, my One of my good friends, uh, he actually uh, borrowed it. And uh, he always took care of his, his, his uh, disc and stuff like that, my disc and stuff. And he let me actually borrow his memory card, so I'd have had all the licenses and everything. So I got to play with his card and stuff. But it was really a fun game to play. And um, so, which is all good. I like I said, I do enjoy playing the games. I still do enjoy playing these games. And uh, pretty soon I'm gonna be doing another video, and I'm gonna probably end up doing uh, a PS2 game that I enjoyed the most, my top five, or maybe a top ten, because I have more PS2 games than PS1. So this is the Shade Tree from the Shade Tree Outsider Channel, and me and the Humble Bubble would like to say thank you. Uh, we have a link to Patreon below, and uh, I'll be getting his top five PS1 games coming soon.
Thank you guys. Where's that silly button at? Oh, there it is.